So hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna, aka Hook by Brianna, and today I want to show y'all how to make this beautiful shell maxi skirt. So here it is right here. And this yarn is so beautiful, by the way. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this tutorial. It is super easy, super beginner friendly, and it is literally just one or two stitches the whole entire time builds up super fast and can easily be a project you can finish in a day or two so let's go ahead and get right into this tutorial so the materials you will need are two skeins of lion brands mandela yarn and then you will need a six millimeter crochet hook some scissors a yarn needle and some optional measuring tape you don't really need the measuring tape, but some people do prefer using that rather than just measuring it up against their bodies. I want to start off with a slip knot. So let's go ahead and do that and insert our hook. And now we need our starting chain to be an increment of six plus two stitches. So we're going to go ahead and do that. This needs to be able to wrap around your hips. Doesn't matter if it's too big for your waist because we will be making a drawstring later. So just make sure that it does stretch around your hips nicely. So now we finish our foundation chain, which again was a multiple of six stitches. We're gonna go ahead and add our additional two stitches. And in our second chain from our hook, so one, two, we're going to place one single crochet stitch. And then we're going to skip the next two stitches. So one, two, and in that third chain, we're going to make five double crochet stitches. So one, and basically a double crochet stitch is you yarn over, go into the loop, yarn over, pull through, one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through those last two. So you're just gonna keep doing those double crochet stitches until you reach five in that same stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to skip two again. So one, two, in that third stitch, we're going to place a single crochet like we did in the beginning. And then we're gonna skip two, one, two, place five single I mean five double crochets into that third stitch like we did previously so one two three four and five and then skip two again in that third stitch. We want to place a single crochet. And you just want to keep alternating between the single crochet and the five double crochets until you reach the end of your foundation chain. Now I made it to the end of my foundation row and we're just going to skip those two stitches and in our last stitch we want to make a single crochet if you don't end perfectly on a single crochet that means you messed up on your count most likely so just go ahead make sure that you have a multiple of six plus two stitches and it should line up perfectly so now we're going to go ahead and chain three this will count as a double crochet stitch so we're going to go ahead and place two more double crochets in that same stitch that we just chained up from so we'll have a total of three double crochets at the beginning of our second row and then we're going to again skip two stitches place a single crochet skip two stitches and in this little crevice we want to make five double crochets in that same stitch so one two three, four, and five. And then again, skip two stitches in that top. You want to place one single crochet. And then again, we're just going to alternate between one single crochet, five double crochets until we reach the end of our row where we will be placing three double crochets in our last stitch, similar to how we started this second row out. So now we are at the end of our second row. We just placed our last single crochet. And like I said before, we're going to skip two stitches 
and in our last stitch oops we will place three double crochets so one two and three so this is what two finished rows look like we are just going to alternate between row one and row two until your skirt is as long as you'd like it to be so this could be a short skirt mid-length skirt long skirt for my skirt it's going to be a maxi like i did for my first skirt just because i have been obsessed with maxi dresses and skirts lately so we're just going to continue to alternate at this point you can go ahead and click on the little timestamps i have that are bookmarked on the video so you can complete one and two if you can't remember how to do them but just as a recap for the first row you just want to start off with single crochets and go from there and on our second rows you want to start off with the three double crochets and go from there also end with the same that you start with for both rows if that makes sense so I'm just going to go ahead and catch back with you guys once I reach my desired length of my skirt. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how to close the skirt up. So I only made mine this long. This isn't even one whole skein yet. So if you want to just make a shorter skirt, you only need one roll rather than two. And you'll also have a lot left. Well, you'll have a good bit left over if you get two rolls as well. So we're just going to fold it in half. It doesn't matter if you fold it one way or the other. It looks the same on both sides. So to connect these together, we want to use the single crochet stitch and make sure you don't do it too tight because we don't want it to bunch up. So we'll just go in the other side and complete a single crochet. So we go in on this side, go in through the other side and complete a single crochet. You just want to do this all the way up the skirt. So this is what my finished seam looks like. So it's literally just a single crochet strip throughout the whole thing. So now, unless you like the look of that, you're gonna go ahead and turn this right side out. And then this is what the seam looks like on the outside. So yeah, it is visible, but it's not that noticeable. I like to put it on the side. So I wear this on the side because if you wear it in the back, it is a lot more visible. Now I'll just show y'all how to make the little tassel drawstring at the top, just so it can cinch in at your waist. And I forgot to mention that once you make it to the top of your skirt, you'll just chain one and tie this off and make sure it's long enough so you can weave it in later with your yarn needle but now let's go ahead and start working on the little tassel part for the skirt so first i'm going to show y'all how i make the tassel so i for oops so for these tassels that i use on this skirt i just wrap the yarn around my hand five times so one two, oops, three, four, and five. Got a little bit messed up, but there. We're gonna go ahead and cut it here. So we have this. We're going to cut another small piece like that. And then we're going to tie this here. And now it looks like this. Now we're going to tie another little piece. And we're going to cut these loops so they're all straight. So now it looks like this. And now we grab this string, put it under our little almost tassel. And then we want to just tie right here. All right, and then I like to make mine a little shorter. So just a little trim. And now we have the tassel. You wanna make two of these for both ends. And now we're just gonna go ahead and make the little chain. This chain just needs to be big enough to 
wrap around your waist and has some extra for you to tie it. So this can be as short or as long as you want it. We're just gonna basically make a chain. There's nothing much to it. So just, let's just do that. Can be as tight or as loose as you want. I just like to make mine loose since I already crochet pretty loosely. And just for the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna make the whole chain because I still have to finish my skirt. I'm just showing this so y'all see how to do it. So I'm just gonna make it a little longer, but imagine this being long enough to go around my waist and have extra to tie. So let's just stop it here. And now we're going to cut, tie off. And then what I usually do, there is probably a better way to attach a tassel to it, but I usually just put my hook into that first, well, last chain. And then I grab one side of the tassel and then I just tie it on <laughs> multiple times with both strings, just so it's nice and secure. Oops. So like that and don't, don't, <laughs> I don't know what else to do, but I just cut it at this point. I'm sure there is a better way to attach a tassel to the crochet things, but this is just what I've been doing and they haven't fallen off yet. So this is what the end of the tassel looks like. Now this can be like a cute little bookmark, I guess, <laughs> but you'll just do the same thing on this end as well. And now I will show y'all how to put it into the skirt with the tassel that I already have fully made. All right, so I just took the string out of my other skirt. We're just going to face our seam up. So here's my seam. And then I have my tassel tie right here. And at the top of our skirt, we have where we put our five double crochets. So we have these long loops every time we did the five double crochets and that's where I will be weaving this through. So I want to start off with, let me think first. Okay, so we're gonna get one side, put it through this double crochet five space. And I like to make sure it's even with the little seam. So the other one will go I mean, I guess it has to go right here. This is closest because this one's too far away. But we'll go here and then we want to grab the other end, weave it through our next double crochet five space. And now we just want to keep weaving in and out of those double crochet five spaces at the top. And I will come back to y'all once I made it all the way around. And we're just going through our last space right here. So now it looks like this. And you know you did it right if whenever you pull both sides, it cinches kind of like a beanie when you make beanies if you made one before. But that's the top. So if your waist is as skinny as a stick, it can still fit in this skirt even if you have wider hips so this is the complete skirt i hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was really helpful this is a super easy and a super beginner friendly skirt project if you want to challenge yourself a little bit this summer but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed make sure you share this with somebody who you think would love this it is so beautiful especially with this yarn that i used and yeah i'm gonna be rocking these all summer and i'm so excited to wear this out <laughs>